the modap, plotting preparation, and the plot settings. Whenever you're printing out a sheet, basically what you see inside this border is the way it's going to print. Just like way we see our dashes here and our Maltese crosses, that's the way it's going to print whenever it prints out that sheet. What you see is what you get. What you may want to make sure before you actually print it, print it out is to make sure you open up the drawing in the correct scale. And we've demonstrated that in a, a previous video. One way we can check that is if we go to our reference dialog box and we see this border right here is a 50 scale border. And I'm going to close that out. But I noticed that my Maltese crosses for this particular right away line look a little bit big. So what I'm going to do is do a file close. I'll just say yes to this. And I'm going to change the project from an I-100 to an I-50. That way, whenever it opens up this particular file, it's going to load up the 50 scale line styles and resource files so your line styles will look correct. So I'll go to this one right here. Just click on OK to that. And now you'll notice your line styles look a little bit more correct now. So like I said, what you see is what you get whenever you're going to print it out. To get to the MoDOT plotting, you can go to the file pull down and go to MoDOT plotting. Or you can go to the standard toolbar and get to MoDOT plotting that way. If you have an active border that's out there, which this one, this file here does, it's going to look at the border that's attached it's going to put that fence around the border so it's going to try to print out everything that's inside that border and since we only have one border in this sheet it's just going to look at that one there we will show you in other videos if you have multiple borders in the same file and some other options with that but underneath the MoDOT plotting you have some different settings depending on how you want to print out the sheet first of all you have to determine what plotter that you want to send it to so you navigate down through here and select the correct plotter that you want to send it to. Next thing that you need to look at is your location. So you'd expand it down and it will show you everything that's underneath there. All the locations for that particular plotter. This one here is just a CAD support so that's the only option that you're going to get. But if I change my plotter right here to maybe a one of the OSE plotters let's say the OSA 500 and I select my location you're going to notice that it's going to have multiple locations depending on where you want to send it to so kind of keep that in mind also next thing that you're going to get is your plotter size depending on what size print that you want A size, B size, D size or long depending on what type of plotter that you're going to send it to this one here will only handle a B size plot a D size plot and long, which long really is your um, your strip map if you want a, the whole entire strip map drawing printed out. And we'll demonstrate that in a later video. Next thing that you have to determine is your color, whether you want it in black and white or color. If it doesn't handle color, this one here would be grayed out. But this OSA plotter does handle color, so you could print this out as a colored plot. Files, if you just click on the one that says current here, it's going to do the current fence that is around your border that's around here. If you expand this out you do have the option that says multiple and multiple borders in the same file and those will be demonstrated in another video so we're not going to worry about those for right now. Next thing that you have is copies depending on if you want multiple copies in there. Um, the portrait we're not going to really worry about that portion of it we don't really do stuff in A size plots anymore we used to but we don't anymore so we're not really going to worry about check marking that box the next one is the seal manually and what that will do and I'm going to zoom into this area up above here what that will do is if that's unchecked and you print out this sheet you're gonna see this text inside this box right here and usually this box right here is where the project manager signs and seals the sheet but right now whenever the project manager signs and seals the contract plan documents they are a PDF and that's how they sign them so whenever you print this out this verbiage is going to be placed inside your print now if for some reason that 
we're not doing electronic print and the project manager needs to sign this sheet right here with his seal his wet seal that he just stamps onto the sheet you could check mark this box right here and whenever this sheet gets sent to the plotter it's going to basically put a mask around this text to where there's nothing inside this box so that way the project manager can come in there and seal that sheet manually if there ever is a need to do that so that's what that box does this portion down through here is ghosted out since we're not sending it as a PDF plot so we're not going to worry about that that's demonstrated in another section but then once you have these parameters set up the way you want it all you need to do is click on plot and it will send it to that plotter so those are some of the things that you really need to know about whenever you're creating a single sheet plot here at MoDOT